Hey guys, Brian Stevens with the National Real Estate Post. I want to start with a little story here. I just got off the phone with one of my good friends and loan officer, Paul Schatz. And we were discussing the current state of disrepair in this country, as I'm sure a lot of us are doing these days right now. And I said, our current situation is interesting and almost enjoyable for me to watch because this is the result of all of our bad decision making, all of the bad policies that we have, all of our overindulgent and it, all of our overindulgent and entitled behavior we have in this country, and we are getting exactly what we deserve. And it is bringing light to all the things I just said. And Paul said something really interesting I wanted to share with you. He said, you know, there's gonna be a lot of pain on the table for people right now, and I don't like to see that. He said, people in this country don't listen to each other anymore. He said, you know what, just get to know me before you tell me to go screw myself. I thought that was really interesting. He kept talking, but he conceded the fact that you still might tell him to go screw himself, but at bare minimum before we engage in this behavior, just hear the other person out. Wouldn't that be a great thing right now? Just hear the other person out. And if you wanna tell him to go screw himself afterwards, you've done the right thing. At least you listened. More of that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and on with the show. So I had a conversation with a mortgage broker, not Paul Schatz, who said he just quoted 6.75% with two comp from one of the major wholesale lenders in this country. I thought to myself, wow, this is absolutely crazy. Brokers are out of the market by that much? I can't believe it. So I reached out to brokers and bankers alike from one of my national real estate posts in rep lives on Facebook and around the country on Facebook from loan officers around the country to see what they were quoting under the same scenarios and terms and conditions of the loan that I knew about from a broker. Turns out, <laughs> it's basically the same thing. Really spelling out how much has changed in such a very short period of time. I couldn't believe it that brokers and bankers, we're talking going from fives to basically almost sevens in a matter of days. It's unprecedented in the history of the mortgage space and it's totally insane. Now, by the time you watch this video, the market may have taken some of it back, but it just goes to show that this market is volatile in a way that we've never seen before and do not take for granted the rate that you quote today because it might be a whole other world at a whole other rate tomorrow. In fact, you might find that some independent mortgage bankers are beating the rates of mortgage brokers right now. So I once heard David Stevens say that the brokerage channel contracts with markets tightening and it expands in markets that are growing. Now, I don't know if that's the case. I guess we're going to see, but rates for independent mortgage bankers and brokers coming in line might suggest that that is the case because it always hasn't been that way. Again, I don't know. I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm just conveying what I heard and now I guess we'll see. Personally, I hope that's not the case. A mortgage market where consumers have more choices is always better and brokers offer a different experience that's better for a lot of consumers. The bigger point is this. You're all selling about the same rates, products, and fees and people are still buying. So the one who wins the deal is not the one with the fastest car, the lower rates, or even the better turn times. No, what's going to define this market is going to be the LO with the superior sales skills. We are now in a market of parity where the individual loan officer alone is the deciding factor. The question is, are you capable of winning on your own accord? And while we're on the point of rates, did you know that the Fed rate hike on Wednesday was the single largest rate hike in 28 years? And what makes it even more fascinating is the Fed is far from being done. We might be staring down a full 100 basis points in their next quarterly meeting. Think about this. You don't like selling rates in the high sixes. There's a real chance that you'll be selling rates in the eights by the next quarter. What is perceived as a difficult transaction by today's standards will be a leisurely stroll through meadows of hill-strewn dandelions and poppies in a few short months at this rate. Question, are home prices about to fall? The answer is, you bet, it's already begun. Think I'm lying? Here's a graph recently released from Freddie Mac. The average loan amount on a Freddie loan is down 8% off its high, meaning the Freddie average loan size is shrinking. Listen, there's only one way that that happens. Values nationally have already begun to drop. Now with rates over the past couple of days essentially going up a full percentage point, that means the next report from Freddie is most likely going to see an even more significant drop as rates increase and values go down. And finally, if you didn't watch the show yesterday with AmeriFirst CEO Eric Bowlby, I suggest you go back and check this whole thing out. Eric really has a unique spin on values, down payments, and payments, and interest rates. In short, this market might not be as hard as you think. Why? Because our recent low rate environment market that we just vacated might not have been as easy as you think that was either. So realtors and lenders, don't think rates right now. Don't think values right now. Don't think payments right now. All you need to think about is just being a little bit better, a little bit better than that loan officer or realtor to the left and the right of you. It's food for thought.